Hi there. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Andy Dewey and I'm a partner at Anderson Barraclay. This video log is our attempt to communicate to you our thoughts and considerations in developing an approach to ensure continuity of service during the coronavirus outbreak. We are clearly in unprecedented times. The spread of the coronavirus is having a profound effect on our daily lives and on how we interact with each other. The effect on our clients and their businesses ranges from at best unsettling to at worst devastating and there is no doubt that these effects will be felt for a long long time. Now it needs to be stated that we have always been and always will be a people first firm. The health and safety of our team, our clients, their families and the wider population is of paramount importance and we take our social responsibilities during this period of effective lockdown extremely seriously. Social distancing procedures will be our primary consideration until the government deems fit to relax them. We are also well aware that what we do as accountants and business advisors is not life or death and we would just like to place on record our sincere gratitude to all of those people working on the front line of the health services and other support services, sacrificing their own safety for the benefit of others. We are truly grateful and whilst the sacrifices you are making can never be truly repaid, your efforts will certainly not be forgotten by us in the future and towards future fundraising events. That being said, whilst we accept that what we do is not the frontline service, based on the vast number of calls and emails we've received over the last couple of weeks from anxious clients, it is clear that as their primary provider of business advice and support, we do have a critical role to play in helping people manage their way through this uncertain period. Clients are desperately looking for guidance with regard to cash flow management, the new furlough rules, paying their staff, fundraising, and we feel it vital that in order to ensure the local economy can be readily reactivated on the other side of this crisis, we maintain an accessible service to our clients, and help nurse, encourage and cajole them through. We certainly recognise the importance of our payroll bureau, which has worked tirelessly over the last couple of weeks to ensure that our client staff get paid and they will hopefully continue to do so over the next few weeks and months. We firmly believe that what we're providing represents an essential financial service as defined within the recently released government guidelines on key workers. In order to do this safely and bearing in mind all government guidelines on social distancing, we've developed a number of protocols as follows. Our office has been closed for client face-to-face -face meetings for the last couple of weeks and will remain so for the foreseeable future. All staff working on site at client premises have been recalled and all are fully able to work from home. The vast majority are indeed now doing so. Our experience has, however, led us to the conclusion that we do need to retain a skeleton staff in the office to coordinate our activities. So it is our intention to maintain an office presence for reduced hours for the foreseeable future. These are currently set on Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. During this time, we will have at least one, but no more than five team members in the office at any one time. We will obviously continue to take all necessary precautions with regard to social distancing guidance. I will also add that we have fully embraced video calling and we were hosting regular meetings amongst the team and with clients, primarily using Zoom for the moment. This has been a bit of a revelation and even our most Luddite of team members see David Shawcross, begrudgingly admit that it works very well. We will be more than happy to hold video meetings with our clients over Zoom, Skype or any other software we have access to. Due to the downturn in demand for certain aspects of our work, such as basic accounts preparation and tax returns, etc., which is a direct result of the government allowing certain deadlines to be extended alongside clients rightly redrawing their priorities, we have made the decision to place a large number of our team on furlough leave. These team members will remain, remain on furlough until it becomes obvious that there is sufficient work for them to do. All remaining staff will continue to work from home as far as is reasonably practicable. Our main telephone line 01642 660 300 is still active and will be answered by a member of our admin team who is based at home. Unfortunately, we do not currently have the facility for your call to be directed immediately through to the relevant person. However, they will be immediately emailed with your call details and you will be called back as soon as possible. Should you email a member of our team on furlough leave, you will receive an auto reply response informing you of this fact. 
your email will then be forwarded automatically to an appropriate active team member and it will be dealt with in appropriate order of priority. Should you have an issue that you deem to be urgent, we strongly suggest you call the office line and you go through the switchboard and somebody will be back in touch with you. Despite the fact that certain deadlines have been extended by the government, there is still a requirement to file certain things such as VAT returns and we are in constant communication with clients who are still concerned that this can be done properly. For those clients operating digital bookkeeping services and systems or for whom we receive the books and records digitally, this is obviously not a major issue. However, we have a number of clients who still provide physical records to us. After some consideration, we think we've come up with a method of allowing this to happen in a safe manner. We've set up a simple quarantine area within our entrance foyer for clients' books and records, which allows for clients to enter the premises without being in physical contact with anything or anyone. We have marked out an area where books and records can be left and logged as received. We then intend, intend to use a disinfectant spray on the books and records, obviously one which will not damage them in any way. The books and records will then be left alone and will not be touched by anybody for a, a period of no less than 72 hours, which is in line with latest government guidance. We believe this will be effective in ensuring continuity of service whilst not exposing anybody to any unnecessary risk. It obviously stands to reason that if you do intend to use this method to deliver your records to us, that you don't leave delivery up until the last minute. We will need at least three days before we can access the records, so please deliver them in good time. We would also advise that you drop your contact at the firm a quick line to inform them when you'll be dropping them off, as our reception is not currently manned. Should the door not be answered, please call the office number and someone will come to meet you at the door between the hours of 10 and 3. Obviously, at a safe distance. These protocols will remain in place until the government deem it appropriate to relax them. Finally, the vast majority of calls and emails we've received over the last few days have been from clients with queries on how to manage their way through the current crisis. In our opinion, the government have reacted very sensibly and robustly and their package of financial measures, while certainly not perfect, is a very firm step in the right direction. However, as with all legislation and guidance, the devil is in the detail. And as you would expect with anything which is rushed out, it's very difficult to obtain clarity over certain points. This results in a constantly moving target and is causing confusion and dismay with some already very worried people. There's been a lot of written information circulated, much of, most of which is very informative, but if you're anything like us, you will be feeling seriously overwhelmed by it. Our idea of dealing with this is to, over the next few days and weeks, release, release a series of short video logs or vlogs on our website, covering our thoughts on these various measures and how we interpret their implementation. So please keep an eye on our website and our separate social media accounts on Twitter, etc. for further separate blogs on the following subjects. Staff furlough rules, cash flow management, coronavirus business interruption loan scheme, or C-bills as we will refer to it, and access to grant funding and other financial support. We believe this is the easiest way we can deliver our thoughts on these to our clients whilst allowing us to easily update our thoughts as more information becomes available, as it does seem to do on a daily basis. So that concludes this int introductory vlog created on the 1st of April 2020. Our website address, Twitter handle and other contact details are on screen now. Thanks for watching. Please, please all stay safe. Thank you.